for the Council of Governors so that she can set the tone and tell us why we're here. Please. We are going to have a program that will target 47 counties. And if the 47 counties go through this program, they have a multiplier effect on enhancing women leadership process. In the politics, we have made several gains, and in 2017 election, where there are remarkable increments in the representation. Of course, we say we had 23 women as members of parliament, we had 24, but unfortunately we lost one. And of course, we have seen in the Senate and in the, in the county, we have three. To me, that is transformative, from zero to three. Because when we are talking about transformative, we are looking for a big leap in change. So we are looking in this program how we will be able to empower women to be able to have very clear vision, share that vision of that, that change that we want in terms of gender equality and women empowerment. This curriculum promises to usher in a new phase of value-led transformative leadership in our country. While Kenya has witnessed a significant growth in women taking up leadership positions, we still lag far behind the minimum threshold set for women representation. One of the salient reasons is inadequate mentorship opportunities available to women already serving in management, technical and operational positions. In fact, there are very few leadership programs for women serving in our county governments. I think we cannot be offered an opportunity like this and we squander it. We women are capable, and I want to say this without a doubt, we are capable of serving in all positions that men serve. Yes, we can. Yes, we can. Yes, we, can. we can be presidents, prime ministers, deputy prime ministers, deputy who, everything women can. Yes. And I say this because we have proved it, we know it. And you will find that some of this education on leadership will also enable us to manage our homes better. Because even the home is struggling with leadership. We talk about single mothers. Why? Because the men are not there to raise our children. And we need to have these qualities of leadership to be able to instill certain disciplines, morals, integrity to our children. And I want to say that for me, as an Nairobi County woman representative, I'm looking forward to bringing my team on this course. And I myself taking this course for women to make significant contribution in the development agenda, they must take up and occupy leadership and decision-making positions. Investing in women's leadership will not only change the trajectory of their future, but that of their communities as well. We will transcend the common narratives that tend to suppress the women and unduly give credence to the men. But we will be careful not to dwell in those narratives because the more we refer to those narratives, the more we become culprits in perpetuating and reproducing faulty narratives about women.